you really concerned, or I you just want to call names? Extremely concerned. Well, then, let's see some action instead what? of all of this whining. I, I I'd heard of Paul Watson. He did some pretty serious stuff. He'd sunk in a Norwegian whaling fleet. You know, he ended pirate whaling in the Atlantic. He was willing to push the edge of, of nonviolence a little bit. The Sea Shepherd approach is really uh, to go in there and almost like a shock troop movement and uh, disturb things. He's a hero, someone who just does what the politicians haven't got the guts to do. Captain Paul Watson leads possibly the most violent and radical green movement in the world. Well, if you kill anybody, I'm holding you personally responsible. Uh, you have no authority over us. We're in international waters. Over. He's, you know, an eco-hero. You know, he's like one of the most famous conservationists and environmentalists in the world. Everybody knows who he is. All the celebrities support him. I'm Martin Sheen, asking you now to join with me and become part of the Sea Shepherd's land-based support crew. Uh, I thought if there was somebody that, uh, that I could partner with for part of the shooting of this movie, that, that uh, he would be a good one. Because there's very few people that were out there trying to save sharks. He was one of them. He was one of the ones that was actually working in the areas that I was concerned about most. Well, we're trying to focus on these islands, Galapagos, Cocos, Mapello, because, uh, you know, these are World Heritage Sites. Uh, they're, uh, you know, if we can't stop uh, poaching and over-exploitation in national parks like this, I don't see how we're going to protect anywhere else in the, uh, in the world. They're being just uh, totally raped by uh, fishing corporations with the complicity of the Ecuadorian, Costa Rican, and Colombian governments. Got a shark? Tell that guy to release that shark. Tell him that if he doesn't release those sharks, we're going to sink his line. It's very, very well known that uh, uh, hammerhead sharks, for instance, are very abundant around the two northernmost islands of Galapagos. And hammerhead sharks, unfortunately, have high value in the uh, Asian market for shark fin soup. Shark fin soup is a symbol of wealth and served as a sign of respect. The soup has been around for centuries, but only in the last two decades has it boomed in popularity. The fin is tasteless, adding only texture to a soup flavored with chicken or pork broth. It became a status symbol, served at weddings, banquets, and expensive dinners. A single pound of fin is worth more than $200 US, and the shark fin industry is a trillion dollar juggernaut. It's not a food which is feeding starving peoples. I mean, it's very much a show of wealth. The word was out that fins meant money and sharks were being killed solely for their fins in virtually every country with a coastline. In Asia, they think because sharks don't get sick as easily as other animals do, that sharks have some magical power to heal. And it's all false information because sharks get cancer, sharks get problems. Shark finning is illegal in Costa Rica, but fins were showing up all over Asia that they knew came from Costa Rica. And we'd sort of figured, OK, there's got to be some deeper meaning in all of this. And we met up with someone who believed that there was a connection between the Taiwanese and uh, all the shark fins that were showing up all over Asia through Costa Rica. So we just went and started checking it out. He had a few places where he knew you would find fins. And he thought, you know, like even though it's illegal, if you climb on top of stuff, you may be able to film down into it. So we went and started investigating. and. There were fins everywhere. One point that I thought we might be over our head was when we uh, were filming the, uh, the shark fins being dried on the roofs of these uh, warehouses. They all ran out, you know, at us with guns and stuff, and we had to, you know, run. We took off to save the footage. Within minutes, the Coast Guard was chasing us with machine guns, telling us they will shoot if we don't stop. I don't like guys coming up to me waving a bunch of machine guns, demanding to come on board. We're not stopping. 